Now I know a lot. Now for all of these match and move animation transitions that I show you, without a doubt, the biggest stumbling block I find my community have is the match and move not having smooth transitions. And what I mean by that is if we go to by just enlarge this so that we can see each page and each transition, you'll see that there is a really smooth and gentle transition between the strawberries all moving around the page. Now when that breaks down I often hear back that people are finding that the movement is not smooth it's jarring and this is what happens when you don't get that smooth effect. Now do you notice when I am just hovering between the two slides that we no longer have that smooth motion effect it is now just fading in and fading out between the two different pages. And that's because the boundary area has broken between the two pages and this is what makes the match and move transition work. Now what I mean by we've lost the smooth transition is when we have the strawberry here, we can click copy. It has to be the exact same size. Now we can grab a corner and then shrink it down and enlarge it up and the match and move transition will still work. However, if when we are editing and moving the strawberry and say we want to turn it around and change the transition, but we mistakenly just this tiny change to the boundary size, now you'll notice that that strawberry has now stopped moving because we have changed the boundary shape of this box. So I can enlarge it and increase it in size. I can turn it around. But what I cannot do is any of these four positions here. I cannot change the sizes of these at all. Or you'll find that the transition no longer works. So just remember, when we want to change between the two pages and show the movement, that we have to keep the boundary size the exact same. We can change it directly in proportion by only grabbing the corners and using this turning axle to change positions and sizes. We can't select the box from any of these parts here. That's going to break the match and move. So I hope that helps explain how we get this lovely smooth movement between the pages and where you may be going wrong when you're trying to create the match and move transitions yourself in your designs. Any questions at all about Canva animations and the match and move ones specifically, then please just do drop them in the comments below. Bye for now.